Hello everybody, welcome back to another AI video. In this one, I'm gonna show you how to create your own ultra-realistic AI avatar videos. The program I'm gonna show you, you do not need a camera, you do not need a video editor, everything is done using this software. And not only that, this is going to allow you to create faceless videos that you can monetize on platforms like YouTube, TikTok, etc. For example, if you're in a niche like, maybe you're in a niche like sports, or you're in a niche like horror stories and you want to create short videos on these topics or long form content and you don't want to put your personal face on it, this is, the, this is the way to do it. Now I know that might sound great, but let me give you a few examples first and then I'm going to show you how to do it. So the first example is of an e-commerce store. So let's say you're selling furniture and you want to create a promotional video using an AI avatar to get some people to come in to check out your sale. Check this out. Luxury can be affordable and we prove it. Discover our range of top-notch quality products at the Curtis Furniture Emporium. Pretty realistic looking, hey? I'm gonna show you how to create that video or a video just like that in under two minutes. It is extremely easy to do, no problem. The next type of video I wanna show you is a scary story channel. If you're a YouTuber or a TikToker and you wanna make a faceless video channel using AI avatars and make money, you know, creating these types of videos, scary stories, scary movies, etc. Check this out. I'm a psychiatric nurse and early in my career, I worked at a residential mental health facility. One of our residents was an elective mute, which means that he didn't, wouldn't, couldn't talk, but there were no medical reasons as to why. Pretty cool, eh? So that's just two examples of many. If you wanted to create a news channel or a history channel, a facts channel, you name it, you can do it with this tool here. So enough of that. Let's roll up our sleeves and let me show you how to do this. Let's dig in and go. All right, so the first step is you want to go to this website here, verbo.wondershare.com. Link will be in the description below. When you're on this website here, you'll see we have a few options, but I'm just gonna go ahead and click on sign in. Now, if this is your first time logging in, it may ask you to sign up with Google or Facebook or X or Apple. They're all free to sign up with. I'm just gonna go ahead and continue with my Google account, but you have different options just in case you're wondering. All right, so once you've logged in, you're gonna see a page just like this. And let me show you that in the top menu under product, when I hover over it, you're gonna see three different options. There's Verbo for desktop, there's Verbo for mobile, and then there's Verbo online, which is browser-based. This is the one I'm going to use because sometimes I use a PC, sometimes I use a Mac, and I like to be able to connect with either. But if you are partial to one of the other ones, just feel free to click on it and download the version that works best for you. I'm gonna continue with the online version and the next step is to go up here to generate AI video online and just click on the big orange button. All right, so once you've clicked in, you're gonna see this screen here and you can already kind of tell where this is going. Just a quick look at this screen here, you can see that there's a whole bunch of AI avatars that we can just go ahead and click on and select. And when you hover over them, you can create a video. So if one of them catches your eye, just go ahead and start creating that way. That said, the next step for me is I'm gonna go up here to the top to the big button and I'm gonna go ahead and click on create AI avatar video. When you do that, you get two options. You can create a landscape video, which is a widescreen video, which is standard YouTube, Facebook, stuff like that, where the video is widescreen, of course. And then you can go with a portrait style, which is really, really good for YouTube shorts, TikTok videos, etc. So for this one, I'm gonna go with the landscape version and then I'm just gonna click on create video. Let's see what we get. All right, so it quickly loads up this screen here. Now this is the default screen with the default avatar and default settings. Of course, we can go in now and start customizing this to our interest. And in the first one, I wanted to show you how to create a furniture style e-commerce AI avatar video. So let me show you how to do that. All right, so now we've gone ahead and generated, and now you'll notice here that we've got this attractive lady here with a nice pinkish, whitish background. This is the default settings. We can, of course, customize this as we see fit, which is what I'm going to show you how to do. Now, on the left side, we have a whole bunch of different options. The first thing I wanna do is I'm just gonna click on avatars, and I'm gonna go ahead and swap out this lady for William, the business guy. Now, I like this look here. He looks like he sells furniture, so I'm gonna click on him. He's also rated hot, so I guess this is a popular guy. I'm gonna click on him and bang, one click, swapped out, done. Now we've got him as our AI avatar. Nice and easy. If I go down here and I click on Welcome to Wondershare Verbo. This is basically captioning. And for this video, 
I don't want any captions on it, so I'm just going to click on it and I'm going to delete it, at least for this style of video. Now, on the left side here, we have a few more options. You'll see here that if I click on background, I can go ahead and scroll through and select any of these backgrounds. Now, there's a whole bunch of really, really good ones, but in this one, we're creating an e-commerce type style video. So we're trying to sell some products or get people to come out to our sale this weekend. So I'm going to go ahead and select this one here, and I'm going to click on it and watch this. Now you'll see here that it has super sale. And while it is not animated in the preview, in the export, it will be. And you know it's animated because when you hover over the thumbnail here, you can see the actual animation in a uh, small amount there. So you can see it happening. You just got to know that it's coming in the export. Now, let's see here. I'm going to go ahead and click on him. And when I click on him, you can see here that I could decrease or increase his size. So for this case, I'm going to make him a little bit smaller and maybe I'm going to put him here so more of his body's in it. Again, you can season this to your taste. All right, so we kind of got him where we want him. Now, I'm going to show you how to add in the script. There are multiple ways to do this. I am just going to go ahead and copy paste in what I want him to say. That's the easiest way for me. But the different ways you can do it are this here. You can create, click on audio script. So you can just click on that and then record what you want him or her to say. Or you can go ahead and use AI translation. So if you have a script in another language and you want to translate it, you can click this button or you can create it using an AI script. So I could click on that and then it loads up this AI script here and then I can type in a few ideas and then you can see here on the right side, I can expand on it, make it more professional, happier, rewrite it, etc. All awesome tools ready to go. But in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and copy and paste it in like I've done here. All right, so the next step here, and this is an optional step, is I'm gonna go ahead and click on English USA Jacob. This is the default voice that it selects for the AI avatar. But in this case, I've got a voice in mind that I'd like to use. So I'm gonna click on that. And when I do that, we get all of these different options. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and narrow it down. So you'll see here that I've selected English and I've selected male. So that's gonna give me English male voices. And the one that I really like, it's natural and smooth sounding, is English USA Soda. Listen to this, this is just fantastic. Wondershare Verbo. Easy to use, no need to shoot. Make international marketing videos in seconds. That sounds as natural as it gets. So that's the one I want. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna click on that, and then once you've got the orange outline around it, I'm gonna click select. And you'll see here that it's now got English USA soda. Now all you got to do is go ahead and click on preview and see what you got. Luxury can be affordable and we prove it. Discover our range of top-notch quality products at the Curtis Furniture Emporium. How good was that? Hey, that sounds very, very natural. Now you'll notice that the lips were not moving in this preview. This was just an audio preview. I'm gonna click out of this. And the next step and the final step, assuming you got it right and you've got the look you want, is just to click on export and let it cook. All right, so we clicked on export and now let's look at the final version here under my creation. It automatically takes you to the screen. Let's just click on play. Luxury can be affordable and we prove it. Discover our range of top-notch quality products at the Curtis Furniture Emporium. Fantastic. Now, I can just click on download and presto. I've got the video and now I can use that in my faceless channel. I can upload it to social media. I can put it on YouTube. I can put it on Instagram. I can put it on Facebook. I can go ahead and even start creating a channel to make money using these videos. All right, let's get on to the next bit. All right, so here's another style of video that I want to show you how to create. And this one has a few different things going for it, especially compared to the previous video. First off, you'll see it's in a vertical format. It's not in the widescreen format, which is kind of cool. These are taking over with YouTube shorts and TikTok videos in particular. They're just being uploaded by the millions. It's absolutely crazy. The second thing about this video is you'll notice here that the background has a creepy Halloween-y look. And the reason it has that is because I uploaded my own custom background for the AI avatar to speak over. So I'm gonna show you how to do that as well. And also it's in French and that's interesting because I originally put the script in English and then I used their AI translation tool to convert it into French. And for those of you that are looking for ways to earn a few extra bucks online or maybe even start a business, an AI video translation offering like this where you localize video and you, you know, you take an English video and then you turn it into French and then you turn one into Greek, etc., etc. You could very easily create videos in multiple languages 
and charge for that service. And you can do that all with this tool. So with that in mind, let me show you how to do this step by step. All right, here we go. So we're back in the main screen here. I'm going to go quicker through this because I've shown you how to do uh, the widescreen version. So click Create AI Avatar Video as we do. We're going to go now to the 916 offer instead of the 16 by 9, and we get that nice YouTube short type style. Now, on the left side here, beside background, you're going to see up at the top here, plus upload. I'm going to click on that, and when I do that, I'm going to select scary dot jpeg i've already got a preset scary background obviously and then here we go i'm going to click on confirm now keep in mind that if you don't have quite the right dimensions you can pull on these handles and get it correct so i've got it right out of the box here so here we go i'm going to click on confirm and presto we've got our own custom background i'm going to click back on the ai avatar and i'm going to reduce her size a little bit because I kind of want to see those scary pumpkins in the background a little bit more. So maybe something like that. I don't know. Well, there we go. So there we go. And besides, you know what? I've decided that, you know, I like this look of the, you know, uh, oh, this girl in a white dress. It's got that spooky haunted housey type look to it. So I'm going to go with that. I'm also going to click on this text here that says, welcome to Wondershare Verbal. And I'm going to delete it because I don't want captions on it. If you wanted captions, you could go ahead and customize those as you see fit. So here we go, we've got her, we've got the background, we're almost there. The next step is I'm just gonna copy and paste in the script that I have here. So I've got a hiker decided to go on a hike by himself, some standard scary type story type video. And there you go, I've pasted it in, but this is where it gets interesting. I'm now gonna click on AI translation. Watch this. When I click on that, we open up the AI translator and you'll see here on the right side, I can select a target language. So I want this to be in French. So I'm gonna select target language French and then let's just find it. There we go. And also look at all those different languages. Keep in mind, if you're looking for a way to make a few bucks online, you know what, creating AI translations like this, you can open up new markets. You can go after different, you know, obviously different locales, different, you know, um, different, English speakers, French speakers, Greek speakers, you know, each one of those separately, their own little demographics. There you go. I'm going to click on apply. And you'll also notice here that it's selected a French speaker now. It's French Coralie because now it's in French. Un randonneur a décidé de partir. So let's listen to what it sounds like now. Here we go. A randonneur a décidé de partir en randonnée tout seul. Quelque chose qu'il n'avait pas l'habitude de faire. Sounds fantastic. Sounds natural. I, I spoke a little French. I did French in up to grade 11, so I can vouch that sounded really, really good. So the next step is nice and simple. We just click on export and we've done a video translation using an AI avatar. This is fantastic. Here we go. All right, and the next thing I want to show you is video translate. This is absolutely amazing. The first time I saw it, I couldn't believe what I was looking at. Let me show you what I'm talking about here. Here are the translated versions, but I want to show you the original video and then you can compare them, including the lip syncing, the mouth movements, the expressions. It's just amazing. Here we go. Here's the original video of my friend George talking. That's one of our brand promises to you. Everybody gets paid on Heartbeat. All right. He's very much into that video. He's very... Uh, he's got great inflection. He's very, very excited about his announcement. Watch this. This is the Greek version. Σήμερα πληρώσαμε όλους τους συνεργάτες του Heartbreak. Υπάρχουν 2000 άτομα που έχουν εγγραφεί στο Heartbeat και πληρώσαμε τον καθένα που κέρδισε τουλάχιστον ένα cent. Ναι. Unbelievable. They even captured the inflection. They got the same level of excitement in his voice. His lip syncing is practically perfect. And it even sort of modified the structure of the bottom part of his face to match it. That is absolutely amazing. Let me show you how to do this. All right, so to create a translation just like that, it's absolutely unbelievably easy. It's literally one click. You just go here, but instead of clicking on Create AI Avatar Video, just click on Video Translate right here. When you do that, you can see here that you can click to upload video. So I'm just going to go into my finder and I'm going to grab the video right here. It's called 6.mp4 and I'm just going to drag and drop it in there. Now, while it uploads and it's very, very quick, you'll see here that I can select the original video language, which is English. And then I can select from all of these different languages 
to translate it into. So we did Greek, and I've got one in Spanish. So why don't we do, I don't know, let's go with Swedish. Why not? Sounds like fun. Also, you can see here you have some other advanced settings. Lip sync. I'm going to keep it on because it did an amazing job lip syncing this video. It's one thing to, you know, to lip sync an avatar. It's another thing to lip sync a full video like that of a real person talking, especially with such a passionate in, in voice. But hey, you know what? Good for them. And I'm going to leave subtitles and proofread video script off. And then all you got to do is click on translate video. And then presto, it's going to go ahead and you'll see here that there's like two seats ahead of me. But if I was to click on this one here while I waited for that, let's listen to what that video sounded like in Spanish. Keep an extra careful eye out on the uh, voice, or pardon me, on the lip syncing. Hoy hemos pagado a todos los socios de Heartbreak. Hay dos mil personas que se han registrado en Heartbeat y hemos pagado a todos los que han ganado al menos un centavo. That is absolutely unbelievable. So that is how you use the tool. You'll see here, it'll take a few seconds more for this to be finished. Let me show you one more final thing while I got ya. All right, the next thing I wanna show you real quickly here is text-to-speech. It's similar to creating AI avatar type videos, but this focuses primarily on the audio. So when you open it up like this, you'll see on the left side, you'll see some trending voices, and then on the right side where you can input your text, or if you have a text file, you can upload it. I'm just going to copy and paste in that same little hiker script story that I had from the previous video. And then on the left side, look at this. We've got all these different voices. So in this one here, I'm looking at this one here. It says Icelandic and the guy's name is Gunn. I like that. So I'm going to click on him right here. And then it says here you have changed, you have changed the voiceover language. Be sure to enter text in the same language. That's fair. So let's go over here to the right side. And then under AI translation, I'm going to click on that. And then I'm going to select a new target language. So what were we looking for? Icelandic. So I'm just going to go through all of these different languages. And wow, there's so many of them here. Holy smokes. Uh, there we go. Icelandic. Let's do Icelandic. Boom. There we go. So now we went from English to Icelandic. I'm going to hit apply. And then watch this. All you got to do is generate the audio. Keep in mind, if I wanted to create the avatar video with him talking in front of a background, I could do that right here. But I just want the audio. So let's click on that. And I'll come back when it's done. All right, here we go. So English to Icelandic. Let's listen to what this here sounds like. All right. I can't tell if that's accurate or not, but I assume it is. But uh, there you go, guys. This is awesome. So if you wanted to create, again, a translation service and charge for it, this is as easy as pie. Just click on download when you've got it ready. It will pop up here and it's done. This is Wondershare Verbo. It's an amazing AI tool. Let me know what you think about it in the comments below. Thanks for watching.